Hello everyone and welcome to this Disney Magic Kingdoms video. I hope you are all well. Now I am really excited to be recording this video for you as Update 80 has been really talked about in the community. There's been lots of reviews, uh, mixed, positive and negative. So I'm really excited to kind of get into all the information about Update 80 and why DMK are putting Ice Age into this game. If you do enjoy the video at any time, make sure to give it a big like. We love hearing from you, so make sure to get into the comment section. And also, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. Okay then, well let's get into this video then. Okay, so before we start the video, we need to go back right to the start. And if anyone does not know, um, we need to find out what Ice Age is. So Ice Age is a film franchise that was started in 2002. It was produced by Blue Sky Studios and distributed by 20th Century Fox. But that's not Disney. This is a Disney game. Disney Magic Kingdoms. Well, yes and no, but we will get into that later. As I was saying, the franchise follows the story of a group of prehistoric mammals surviving the Ice Age. The franchise has made over 3 billion US dollars in box office revenue. So, shall we find out why Disney Magic Kingdoms are putting Ice Age into the game? So to do that, we need to look at the pros and we also need to look at the cons. And the first pro that I have is that Ice Age is a popular media franchise. There has been six movies and I believe there is going to be another one at some point. Seven short films, one animated series and two television specials as well as loads more that we'll be looking into a little bit. Not only is it a popular media franchise, the characters are well known and the five characters that I'm showing you in this video are actually the five characters that we're going to be getting in the game. If you haven't checked it out already, I did do a video where I kind of broke the news that Ice Age uh, was going to be update 80 and also that Mulan was going to have a mini event in update 79. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a card uh, on the video for you to check that one out. So um, yeah, like I say, the characters are well known. Um, the character here on the left is uh, Manny, a woolly mammoth. Then we have Sid in the middle, which is a sloth. And then we have on the right here, Diego, who is a kind of like saber toothed tiger. And then the last two, um, on the left here we have Scratch, uh, I believe. Um, and then on the right, I would say this is not as well known as the other four. Um, and this is Baby Scrat, uh, which is supposedly the son of Scrat. Um, if, like I say at the beginning of the video, if you don't know what Ice Age is, you're probably going to know who Scrat is. Um, so yeah, so that is why um, I do feel like Ice Age is a strong contender um, for being a collection in Disney Magic Kingdoms. So not only that, Gameloft already have history with Ice Age and of course Gameloft is the company that make Disney Magic Kingdoms. So in 2012 Gameloft released Ice Age Village, then two years later they released Ice Age Adventures and in 2015, so a year later, they released Ice Age Avalanche. And I believe all of these games were mobile games, just like Disney Magic Kingdoms. 
So this is where it gets tricky because I see this as a pro, but I also see it as a con. So we've seen in like newsletters and social media posts, uh, concept designs for attractions, concession stands, and also decorations for stuff that's coming in with certain collections that may be new or expansions on them. Um, and yeah, they could take some inspiration from stuff that has been in theme parks. So we'll start off with the first attraction uh, to ever appear. And that was at Movie Park Germany between 2004 and 2016. There was an Ice Age dark ride, which has now been turned into a roller coaster, which has been totally rethemed away from Ice Age. Then in 2012, here in the UK at Alton Towers Resort, there was a 4D experience, which was kind of like a show but unfortunately it's not there anymore then from 2014 to present day actually uh, Dufan Angkor it's a theme park out in Indonesia and they also have a kind of like dark ride um, to do with Ice Age and then Gentin Sky Worlds, uh, I believe I've said that correctly, a theme park in Malaysia, which is actually the first 20th century uh, Fox focused kind of like themed theme park. Um, and that opened in 2021, that Ice Age themed area. And there's a couple of attractions, I believe. And of course, it's still open. So like I say, they could take some inspiration um, to the stuff that's going to be coming into the collection. And like I say, I see this as a pro, but I also see this as a con because we don't see Ice Age in the Disney parks. And I think we're going to find out a little bit more about that in the next bit of the video when we go into the cons of Ice Age coming into Disney Magic Kingdoms. So I've already kind of started on the cons, like I said, with the theme park uh, situation, but Ice Age is not Disney. So let's go back to the start of the video and recap on what I said there. So Ice Age is a film franchise that was started in 2002. It was produced by Blue Sky Studios and distributed by 20th Century Fox. So like I said, Ice Age is basically 20th Century Fox content. But in 2019, the Walt Disney Company brought 20th Century Fox. And that kind of basically means that even though Ice Age wasn't Disney when it was released, it is actually now Disney content, just like we've seen other franchises um, from different companies uh, now become Disney content. And unfortunately, the Blue Sky Studios was shut down in April 2021. Um, and then Ice Age was included on the Walt Disney Company's streaming service, Disney Plus, in March 2020. So um, so even though it doesn't feel like Disney, it is actually Disney content. Um, so that's a kind of con for me, is that it doesn't feel like Disney. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear what you guys um, feel. Like I say, I know there's been lots of mixed reviews. There's been lots of positive. There's been lots of negative. So um, looking forward to seeing the comment section. So now that we know Update 80 is going to be Ice Age, what other franchises could come into the game that weren't Disney when they were first released? So I've got a few here. Um, the Simpsons, another really well-known franchise. I don't know if it's that popular as it was in its heyday. Um, but yeah, that could definitely be one to come in. Robots. One that's been really suggested is Rio. 
um, Anastasia, and then, of course, Marvel. I know that's another one that loads of people have been waiting to see in Disney Magic Kingdoms. And if these were to come into the game, I don't know how I would feel because... I do like The Simpsons, but as I've said many times through this video, it just does not feel like Disney. Um, and we did our 2024 predictions video. Um, I'll put a card up on the video for you. But there is lots of different characters that are Disney characters um, that I feel like should come in the game before any of this does and I'm a bit upset that Ice Age is coming into the game um, but like I said it is Disney content now so you can't really um, blame them for bringing it in but um, yeah it's not really something that I am looking forward to um, but we'll just have to wait and see won't we are any of these franchises um, here on the screen, do you want to see them in Disney Magic Kingdoms? Is there any other uh, franchises that are not Disney um, you want to see? Um, like I say, get into the comment section. We do love hearing from you. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. And hopefully we catch you for another video or one of our Disney Magic Kingdoms live streams. Okay everyone, well thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!